if you've ever lived in Lawrence County, Indiana, you have some memories of Otis Park, and likely they're all good ones. The park is named after Fred Otis, a Bedford newspaper man that once owned the property. In 1915, he donated the land to the city in hopes it would become a premier park and golf course. He got his wish. Otis Park is the largest public park in Lawrence County with about 150 acres. And truthfully, there's nothing quite like it in all of southern Indiana. But it all began with a farm back in the 1860s. Completed in 1865, the William Ragsdale home still sits gracefully at the front of Otis Park. Also known as Pine Hall, it's a beautiful example of Italianate Second Empire architecture. Maybe you once dreamed of climbing all the way to the top to look out to the grounds below. Or maybe you were lucky enough to actually do it. Perhaps you've marveled at the limestone bandshell designed by Joe Cesar and built by the Works Progress Administration in 1938. The WPA was an effort to get America back on its feet and out of the depression by providing federal construction projects to the unemployed. The van shell, roads, bridges, walls, and picnic areas were all built by WPA workers and with local Lawrence County limestone. And here's a fun fact. It's the only band shell ever made by the WPA in its entire history. Perhaps you sat in the audience and watched a live performance that you can remember like it was yesterday. If you're honest, you dreamed about standing on that stage a time or two. If you ever golfed, you likely came here to play among the rolling hills of southern Indiana, enjoying a perfect day in a place where time seems to sit still. Or maybe you have fond memories of the castle-like picnic areas with built-in grills. If you close your eyes, you can almost smell the hot dogs and hamburgers from days gone by. Maybe you've driven all the way back to the end of the park, thinking about all the time it took to put individual stones along the road. Hard-working human hands placing every individual stone and still here as a monument to their work nearly 100 years later. Each time I come here, I enjoy the high up views from the ridge and the gracefulness of the perfectly cut grass. On a beautiful day, it's like a glimpse of heaven. I also think about the laughter of my family in the car, their smiles and the simple pleasure of just coming to Otis Park to be together. Both good memories and others bittersweet. Whatever memories you have of Otis Park, you share them with so many others. 
happy times, and smiles of friends and family, some that are no longer more than a happy recollection. Memories made in a place unique to all of southern Indiana, only found here in Lawrence County.